Hello and welcome to the Nexus. Today we're doing issue 60 of our Fast and Furious cars. Quite a bit to do in this issue. We are going to be uh, finishing off our roll cage. Then we're going to be putting the roll cage onto the interior of the car. And then we're going to be putting the interior car onto the floor plan. So we're going to need everything that we've built so far uh, up to this point. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so there's quite a lot of screws here. And to get them all out. And like I said, there's a fair bit to do in this issue. So I'm just going to get these bits out. Uh, it's all die cast. This is really cool. So the first bit we're going to do is we're going to take this bit here. And we're going to screw this uh, from there, actually, into there with a CM screw. Then we are going to place this uh, and connect all this up with CM screws. And then this last bit will go just on here. Once again, we're gonna connect that with a CM screw and we'll have a look at the end result. Okay, so there is, here is the whole roll cage. Uh, just like that. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, is once again we're going to use CM screws and we're going to place this into the interior. So once again we're going to just line everything up making sure it all fits like so. Now we're going to secure it in place at all the points with CM screws and then we'll take a look. Okay so we've we've gone ahead and placed the CM screws, one there, one here, one here, and one there. And then you need to grab the DM screws, which are the ones with the little washers. And you need to put one here, uh, and on these back ones here. That is now completely solid, as you can see. So that's looking really cool. Um, yeah, nice as well. And the fact that it's die cast, which is really cool. So now what we need to do is we need to grab the, the body base of the car that we've been working on. So let me just grab that. Okay, so here's the body of the car. Uh, what we need to do is make sure the front headlights here run down this groove just in the door, in the um, side of the engine bay just here. Make sure it just runs down the side there. All these wires need to be pulled up so they are this side of the steering column here let's grab the interior so what we've got to do is i'm just gonna is place this where the uh Making sure we put the uh, the steering mechanism this bit here through the hole. That's just just in there. Making sure that goes through like so. And now that's where the wires should all go up. Now it says uh, not to wire them up yet, but I'm going I'm going to wire that up. Uh, once it's secured in place, there is. Um, let me just take this out slightly. So there is one, two, three. Yep. The black wire is this side. That's that side as well. So you can see where the black wire is. So we need all the other wires this side and the black one uh, this side because of where the black one needs to sit. I'm just going to double check all of that. Um, just double checking everything. Making sure. Yes. So. So all these wires here, we've got the white, the green and the white and red. This side and the black one on that side of the steering thing. So we need to carefully 
just sort of line that up. There you go, like that. And what we need to do, we need to, there we go. So we should have all three of them that side and then this one, this side. Okay, so once it's insecure like that, we need to flip the car over and we need to secure it with LP screws. So I think the best way is to hold it like this and then just flip it up. And then we're gonna find the holes and secure it in with the LP screws. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so we've done one there, there and there. And obviously the opposite side. I've put some batteries back in it. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is turn it off for a minute. And then I'm going to plug everything in. There we go. So I'm gonna plug everything back in and then we'll take a look at it and see if it's still working. Okay. Um, it's <laughs> bigger than, let me back up a little bit so you can actually make it all sort out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm actually wired it now. As you can see, I've turned the power on as well here. Let me give it a little bit of a dust. Now I'm starting to get somewhere with it. So we've got the black there, we've got the front there. So the power is on. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have lights and the dashboard looks really nice. Take a look at that. Um, hang on, let me see if I can bring it a little bit close. Let me tidy up. There's one thing I don't do, and that is tidy as I go, and I really should. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is lit up. Hang on, let me uh, turn the lights off. There you are. So, that button works. And so all the lights still work. And the moment of truth, the pedal. Yep, brilliant. So you can make it, can you make out the back ones? Let's have a, a forward. Let me touch the pedal, so you can sort of, yeah, it's all lit up, look. And, yeah, I mean, the dashboard looks really nicely up. Check that out. Hang on, see if I can get a... Uh, not, it's not playing ball today. Don't know why. But those those are the front lights, obviously. But I'm very happy. And let me turn the lights back on. That all lit up. It's all lit up. And it all works. And I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to turn it off now. And that is where we are in that issue, which is really cool. Uh, I'm really happy that um, it all still uh, it all still runs. It looks really nice now. We've got the we've got the interior of the car in, and uh, obviously the the uh, the roll cage as well. It all lit up. It's all it's all insecure now. It's completely secure. I'm going to lift it. Look at that. So there is some weight in that already. Um, and that's it. I know, um, I think it's either the next issue, 61 or 62, we get the, the body, the chassis of the car, the back section here. Um, then there's uh, the boot to do, um, the doors. We've still got quite a bit to do on this. The windows, everything, the, the obviously the front of the car, the back of the car, so there's still quite a bit to do on the car. But it, it, it's now re resembling something. It's really cool. And it's nice as well. We do still need to put in the 
the steering wheel and I think we got that on issue one or two it was that long ago it is somewhere I've got to dig it out from somewhere and um, and I think we fit that in the next couple of issues too uh, but anyway that's where we are and yeah it's quite nice really nice uh, also as well now we did get a lot of screws in this and I, I don't know why so we're going to keep them so just to show you the, the packs that we have left, or I have left anyway. So I've still got some CM screws, quite a few of them. We've got a few LP ones that we used. But we have uh, EP and JM. Uh, it tells you in the magazine, it doesn't tell you in the magazine to use them. Um, in the instructions, shall I say. But they are supplied. Uh, there they all are. And it says some parts are spares, but I cannot see. We use the DM screws on the back and the CM screws to uh, obviously secure everything in. Um, then we obviously sort it out, putting in the, uh, and then we use LP screws. So we've got a few screws here that we don't use. So my suggestion is to put them safe because uh, they'll probably be used in the next issue. Um, I think one of them is to to attach the uh, the steering the steering wheel on. But anyway, that is where we're at. Uh, I have to say thank you for watching. Remember to click subscribe. I've been Kev, and as always, we'll see you at the next video.